If the molecules under question are chemically stable enough to survive in an organism, then selection can be performed in a whole animal model. We can bypass in vitro or test tube selection and do selection directly in vivo to generate potential drug candidates. A healthy animal, such as a rat, is first challenged with a library size of 10 trillion different molecules. The library is administered through an injection, nasal, or oral delivery depending on the chemical nature and stability of the molecules. It is within the healthy animal that the molecules are exposed to an environment addressing absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity. Only the unbound or unabsorbed molecules that linger around in the bloodstream are then administered to a rat model exhibiting the disease or condition of interest. The library of molecules may contain unique molecular solutions which bind to the diseased site. Extraction of the pathological tissue permits recovery of molecules that concentrate at the disease site and exclude all others that naturally bind to normal tissue. Initially, these molecular solutions that bind selectively to diseased tissue may represent a small fraction of the entire library. However, after multiple rounds of selection and amplification, they quickly dominate the population. Following recovery and purification, the surviving molecules are then amplified and administered to a healthy rat once again. Only the unbound or unabsorbed molecules within the bloodstream are recovered for continuous rounds of challenge in order to increase the number of molecules with the highest affinity and or pharmacological activity against the disease or pathology of interest. Again, this cycle includes the isolation and processing of the pathological tissue containing any absorbed molecules. This is followed by amplification of the molecules which are then administered into a healthy animal for reselection. The cycle is repeated again in a negative or counter-selection step. A blood sample containing the unabsorbed molecules is then withdrawn from the healthy animal. The unabsorbed molecules are again administered into the diseased animal for positive selection. The drug development process, which involves repeated rounds of negative and positive selection, increase library specificity. Eventually, the majority of the library becomes enriched with highly specific molecules. At this point, the library is sorted and characterized for drug candidates. The ideal drug exhibits absolutely no interaction on healthy tissue and high specificity in diseased tissue. Aptibodies have a large chemical diversity to safely assume that a large library of these molecules may contain one or more solutions with drug-like activity. In essence, after multiple rounds of selection, the progression of selection results in a gradual disappearance of the pathological marker. This is shown by the initial round exhibiting the pathological marker and the nth or final round showing normal tissue with no sign of the pathology.